Hey guys, welcome to Archland. So we are here to take a look, a first look at uh, Susie and Susan's uh, skill. Help you decide if you want to pull on their banner tomorrow or in a few hours. So let's try to have a first glance at her unique passive or at their unique passive. Sorry, I forgot it's two of them. So they are they are of darkness uh, element. Uh, aim. Uh, both are mages. Infinite Terror is their unique passive. So increases on uh, magic attack and magic defense by 8, 10, 12, 15 when attacking targets inflicted with debuff. So as you can see the trend, they are better or good with um, with uh, targets that have debuff. So they are, they'll be good in a, de a debuff team. At the end of the action, inflict... Uh, uh, these ratio random debuffs to two or three random enemies within two or three tiles so again they provide their own debuff with this which is good but again if they're on a debuff team they're going to shine more actually so leader passive so it's good that the both have uh, passives so twin darkness activation condition two dark allies which is kind of easy to put together um i have a couple in mind already for my team so this is not hard to fulfill so increase the p attack m attack p defense and m defense of all allies by 10 and this is the kicker guys allies deal 15 percent increased damage against targets with with three or more debuffs this is the kicker so this is going to make her OP. At this point, I would value this one because the activation condition is a very simple one. So two dark allies, usually dark allies have debuffs as well. So again, they would work for my team. Catherine and uh, Peacock would work with this team well. Peacock is actually looking for debuffs. Catherine actually has debuffs as well. So that is probably going to be my team moving forward. But again, this is a very easy leader passive to put together. And the, the add-ons is actually great. So again, this alone, this alone, this um, leader passive is going to make them OP. I tell you guys, because this applies to other um, heroes that don't you know don't necessarily deal much damage with uh, debuffed enemies so this applies to everyone already again a great addition to a debuff team probably your mainstay in your debuff team so moving on to the skills so blood curse dealing 1.5 uh, magic damage to a single target and flick unhealable so has unhealable and if a target has two more debuffs, the skill gains 50% magic defense penetration. This one is going to hurt. Because if you have a, a good enough um, uh, magic team, this is going to hurt. And I think you can use this in bosses as well. Um, I'm not sure where they can't be healed. Um, deadly skill. Consume three anger to use the skill again. Gain one anger after you deal damage to target. Okay, next off is Sorceress Curse. So magical damage as well. So deal 0 0.5 melee attack, uh, ma magic attack to enemies in range and inflict one random debuff. Mage enemies also are inflicted with silence. Ouch. So silence can't use active skill. These two alone are very good skills, and we'll move on to, to the next four. So Poison Curse. Deal 1.4 magic attack damage to a single target. If the target has two or more debuffs, inflict stun. Uh, ouch. Uh, for one turn on him before attacking. If target has less than two debuffs, inflict debuffs on him instead. Again, this will hurt. Um, the two or more debuffs are not going to be difficult, especially on a debuff team. So stun can't act or can't, can't be countered. So all three skills are good. And these two are going to be a nuisance in the battlefield. 
Um, but wait, there's more. So this one is, I think, one of the creme, creme de la creme of their skills. Um, Twins Deception, teleport to a selected empty tile and gain an additional action. So this one gives them a lot of flexibility, a lot of survivability, and you name it, guys, they have it. So at this point, I'm already saying that the Twins... Susie and Susan, they're a must summon. Even over, over Valak. Both of them are a must summon. They might change the game at this point. Especially with both uh, PvP and PvE. They will, you know, make a dent on the meta once they, came, once they come in. So, they are a must have for me at this point. They can be your centerpiece in your debuff team. And again, guys, must summon, especially tomorrow. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Comments down below. Uh, if you have comments on their kit, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.